Baker with head coach Kyle Mars after a 3-1 set victory. BW takes down Geneva. Your thoughts on the match, Coach? Yeah, um, I thought the hard work that we saw out there was really good from our guys. I think we just kind of grinded it out today. Um, it certainly wasn't the cleanest game, uh, but I think our guys did a good job of finding how to work through a rut that we kind of ran into in set one. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed with the hard work and the grinding that was going on out there. So You guys had to fight back in that first set. Kind of talk about what you guys were talking about in the late game timeouts. Kind of went into overtime there in that first set. Talk about what the word was in those timeouts. Yeah, um, in some of those late games, it was, you know, our focus wasn't quite there today. And, um, you know, we're a, we're a young team. We're starting to feel through what it means to play a high level every single match. Um, and I think today the mental focus was not quite there at, at all times. Um, so a lot of it during those huddles was, hey, we have to make sure who we're trying to key on, uh, which was number 17 and number 8. They killed us at a lot of different spots. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think they stuck with it. They, they worked through it. And um, we certainly served tough, and we figured out who we need to get on from a, a, ser a serving standpoint. Um, so I thought that that was a great adjustment for us, and we kind of solved the puzzle. So, Yeah, Brandon Long with another great performance in terms of serving six service aces for him again, 38 assists for him as well. Talk about his performance tonight. Yeah, um, Brandon is – I talked about this on the road show last week. Brandon is just a calm, cool, collected guy. Um, so when things aren't going well, he never gets rattled. It's just more so of what do I need to change and fix to make sure that I'm getting to a spot where things are going to work. Um, and that's what you're seeing today. I mean, he didn't make an error on those serves either. I didn't realize that until now. Um, but what you're seeing with somebody who has six aces and 22 serve, man, it's like he's just going on runs and finding ways to score. Um, but yeah, I think you know he's doing a good job of playing the game that we need him to play when it comes to getting a matchup with certain blockers and stuff like that. Um, and what he's doing is putting our hitters in great spots where they can find ways to score. Um, so hats off to him, that's an awesome game for him. Another guy I think that's been really cool, calm, and collected, Michael Beer, picked up a double-double again today. Talk about his leadership for this roster. Yeah, um, Beard is a guy that I think all of our guys follow, um, you know, as he goes, almost our team goes, right? And it is crucial for him to lead not only with his voice, but his body and how he plays, right? So it's a lot of responsibility on him, but for the most part, he's willing to take that on. And what you're seeing is he's stepping up in some big time moments and just finding a way to score, right? Um, but if you have a guy who's getting 15 kills in four sets, I mean, that's a great asset to have, you know, and from a personality standpoint, um, what he brings to our team is invaluable and uh, just a great guy to lead, you know. You guys kind of set the tone in that second set where it was really a big time victory in that set, 25 to 15, bigger than any other set. Kind of where did you guys set the tone there? Yeah, I think it started at the service line. Um, kind of like I said, at the end of that set one, we figured out who we need to serve, where where we need to key on, and then I think our block came alive as well, where we started to get in front of 17 a little bit more. Uh, we started to get in front of eight a little bit more. That guy's a big dude. I mean, that kid is like 6'8". Um, so we had to kind of find a way to slow him down a little bit too. Um, but yeah, I, I think our serves came alive in that set. Um, and what you saw there in that set, I personally feel like is what we see in our, our practice gym every single day. Um, so that was what we felt like should have been the case for this whole match, you know. Um, but hats off to that team. I mean, they did a good job of responding to what we were bringing to. Um, and like I said, they had some big boys with some live arms and, and did a good job of scoring points on us. So. Nick Mazzoni got his first action tonight, stepped in and finished off that fourth and final set. Talk about his performance. Yeah, um, Nick is a high flyer. Um, he's got a live arm. Um, the amount of work that he has put in in the last year and a half has been fantastic. Um, he's been waiting for his chance for a long time. He got some chances last year as well. Um, so it's really not a hesitation when we need him. We put him in there, and he responds well. 
Um, so I was really happy with what he brought. Um, and his blocking is actually really critical too. I mean, he gets up there, he reaches over well, and it creates a lot of problems for their outsides. So I was happy that when we needed him to, to step up and step in, he did a fantastic job. So, Any other final thoughts on the game, Coach? Um, no, I think that's it. I'm really happy that we got the win, and yeah, it was a good night. Yeah, to keep going tomorrow at Hiram. Looking forward to seeing more of this young team that's really promising. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.